gave me a little gift set full of the macadamia natural oil hair 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 products so these are mini bottles of the rejuvenating shampoo and the moisturizing rinse I really liked both of these I thought they were super moisturizing they put a little shine and moisture back into my hair um, and they made my hair feel clean and didn't give it like an oily appearance at all if you're familiar with the macadamia natural oil deep repair hair mask which I love it smells or these smell just like that whoops Ooh. You know, these can be a little bit pricey, but I believe she found this set at Winners, so I'm going to keep my eyes open, and if I see another um, set or, you know, the shampoo or moisturizing rinse on sale there, I will definitely pick it up because I really did enjoy these. Surprise! More simple facial cleansing wipes. Are you so sick of me talking about these yet? I really like these. They're just my go-to. I buy them at Target or the grocery store. They're like around 8 or $9, I believe, and they're just really gentle on my skin, but they do a good job of taking the majority of my makeup off before I use my cleanser. But if you read my blog, you may have seen my husband gave me for Mother's Day. He threw in a pack of the Live Clean Makeup Wipes, and I've really been enjoying those too. And I do have a blog post on that if you're interested, but these are just like my go-to. They're really gentle, and they do the job, so... I'll keep using them. I also finished up my Acure Cleansing Gel Facial Cleanser with Superfruit plus Chlorella Growth Factor. It says it's for combo to oily skin. Lately my skin has been more combo to dry, but I still have found this to be fantastic. I really, really like this. It comes out like a gel. Um, I recently purchased the Mia Clarisonic 2 and, no, Clarisonic Mia 2. And I have been using this with that for the past couple weeks and I really, really enjoy it. So um, this I got from Vitacost. It wasn't that expensive. I'll put the price down below for you guys. But when I make my next Vitacost order, I will definitely repurchase it. And because apparently I am part hippie, I really enjoyed that it was full of natural ingredients. So I will definitely repurchase it. It was a definite winner for me. Bon voyage. While we're talking about Vitacost, uh, this is another Acure product. It is a leave-in conditioner with argan oil and gar argan stem cell. I really enjoyed this. If you guys know, I talk all the time about the argan stem cell Moroccan shampoo and conditioner that I order from Vitacost. I love that stuff. So it just made sense to try another hair product from them. This has a very herbally kind of earthy smell, but it tends to dissipate. So if that kind of, it kind of threw me off at first. But I really like it. I just spritz it in the bottom, the ends of my hair when I get out of the shower and it just helps to, you know, put some moisture back into your hair and help you to comb it out a little bit easier. I'll even admit to you that my daughter, who is 18 months old and definitely does not need hair products, she her hair is a little bit thicker in the back and when she sleeps it gets really matted. So when she has a bath, this is all natural, so sometimes I'll just spritz a little in the back of her hair. Um, so that I can comb it out without like hurting her and it works really well. So if you got kids and you want to use a more natural product to help brush the tangles out without having such a fight, this is a good one to try. So definitely love this. I will repurchase it. Again, it's not that expensive. I'll put the price below for you guys. But Okay, I finished up two oils and then I have some makeup products. So the first oil that I finished up is the Pure Kakui Oil, which is dirty. Um, I don't know what my problem is, but I... I think it's because there's like a gaping hole and when I pour it on my hand I like ah, I like get it all over the jar somehow. I don't know. So this is the Life Flow brand uh, cold pressed organically grown pure kakui oil. I heard about this from Christine over at Pink So Foxy here on YouTube. She lives in Hawaii and apparently this is um, I, I believe it's actually a Hawaiian nut oil and it's very popular there and it just, I found it really intriguing when she talked about it. So I ordered it from Vitacost of course and I had been using it just as an all over moisturizer for my skin when I got out of the shower and it really worked really, really well. I had been having really dry skin issues so I just went straight for the oils and this one was amazing. It does have a little bit of a nutty smell but I don't, I, I feel like it kind of dissipates, it doesn't really stick around. I would definitely repurchase this, I just think it is a great all over body moisturizer if you're into oils. Okay, one more oil. This is the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil. I went through this really fast because I, I had some sort of a reaction to a primer that I tried and it caused really, really dry, patchy spots to kind of occur all over my face. So I had just been slathering this all over my skin and I feel like in about probably four days or so, it was pretty much back to normal. 
This stuff is so, so intensely moisturizing, you guys. It does have a strong smell. It's kind of like seaweed. So don't let that scare you too much. It does dissipate as well. But, I mean, it definitely has kind of a pungent smell at first. Just done such a great job of keeping my face moisturized and also just keeping breakouts at bay. So I will definitely repurchase this. If you're in the States, you can order this from Vitacost at a discounted price. They don't ship it to Canada for some reason, but I found it in my local grocery store just in the health food section. The next time I go to the grocery store, I will be grabbing another one of these because... It's amazing. Three makeup products. This one I have had for so long that I just forced myself to use it up. I think my cat might have been laying in this bag because it is full of my hair and my cat's hair. Gross. The Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. I did like this, but I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I, I probably won't repurchase it. This is in the shade Nude. I do like it because it brightens, but I just feel like when I use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I get more cover coverage plus that brightening effect. So this is nice um, if you don't need as much coverage as I do, like if you don't have dark circles and you just want a, a, like a more brightening effect, this is excellent. But for me at this point, because I'm you know, trying to fight the dark circles, I go for something with a little more coverage. But like I said, if you don't have that issue, it's totally fine. Okay, this is probably the most exciting thing that I have finished up. This is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. Literally had this for about two years. I could probably still scrape a little bit around the edges, but I am just done with it. It's just a nice salmon -y colored concealer to help fight the darkness under my eyes. However, over the past couple months, I found it to be a little bit dry and sticky. So I think that's probably just because I've had it for so long and I, you know, was trying to really use it up and just, honestly, it's probably expired. Like, let's, let's be honest here. I really was kind of in the back of my mind planning on repurchasing this and then I don't have a Sephora close at hand here, but at one of the drugstores they do have a section of higher end makeup and I saw they were selling the Benefit Race Paste. So I thought, ooh, I might as well just buy this and save myself the shipping. So I did, and I think I like this better. Um, it just has a little bit more of a creamy consistency. As far as coverage goes, I think they're about the same. But I felt like I just had to kind of drag that out more, and my eyes are already kind of dry underneath. So anything that's just a little more creamy for me is going to be better. Last product I have is another uh, little mini mascara from my Sephora Lash Stash. I can never say that kit that I bought back in November. I haven't really enjoyed that kit. I haven't enjoyed all the mascaras in it, but I just like the idea of being able to try so many high-end mascaras without having to buy the full sizes. And it does come with some full-size mascaras too, so that's really nice. This was the Blink Mascara Stop Painting Your Lashes Tube Then. I know a lot of people really like this. Personally, for me, I really didn't. Um, you know, it literally tubes your lashes, and when I was taking my mascara off at night when I wore this, I noticed that some of my actual eyelashes were coming off with the tubes. And I just don't have enough eyelashes to lose them. <laughs> I don't really like that tubing effect. I know some people do, it works for some people. Personally for me, it didn't, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this, but to each their own. Okay guys, so that rounds out my empties for May. It is May, right? Yes. Please let me know your thoughts on any of the products in the comments below that I've talked about. If you haven't subscribed, it always makes my day if you do. I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.